What's up drivers, what's up riders? If you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make $200 in three trips. Stay tuned. You guys gotta stop listening to me. <laughs> but we are gonna work some apps today, Instacart and Uber for sure. Who knows, maybe we'll do some dispatch, maybe we'll do some favor, but you gotta keep watching to find out. Oh, by the way, don't forget to hit the notification bell and to like this video. Let's get started. Another morning, heading off to go start Instacart. That's one thing I like about Instacart, you can get your first order and actually know what you're gonna be making as opposed to like Uber in them where you're just waiting to see. But if you can start it, you can go. So, what's up drivers, what's up riders? Uh, it is 1010 and I'm on my way right now to get my first order or batch started. I never know what to say in the morning because it's the morning and I'm tired as all get out. So, um, today I kind of just want to focus on speed, which means I probably won't be filming. What are you doing, dude? Like, are you coming over or are you not? <laughs> <laughs> People came out of this quarantine down here because you know we had a soft opening and they just freaking forgot how to drive or how to think. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. My God, uh, I want to try to just focus on some speed today. Uh, I Last time I was out doing Instacart, like last week I had a whole week off, so I'm getting my sea legs back. Uh, my batch time was about 90 to 80. Uh, it was getting pretty good. It was down. It was it was in a really good range. The other day I did it. I only had like two orders yesterday, but they were back up like to the hundred. So I want to try to get it down. In this store, I know pretty well. Camera down. <laughs> I can actually probably burn through this a lot quicker. So uh, yeah, that week I made all that money. I wasn't filming the entire week. I actually took you guys in there at the end of the week. So uh, love you guys. Love you guys to death. But um, I need to make the money. Uh, maybe do a couple of tutorials showing you guys some of the messages you might want to send to your customers. Uh, a lot of you have asked how to do the shorthand and I've messaged you directly in the comments uh, with the article that shows you how to do it. I have an iPhone, I'm sure the Android has the same way, uh, you know, have their own way of doing it. That's probably what we'll go over today. As I always say this, we'll see how much we blog and watch this turn into like a 50 minute video. I hope not, because I don't feel like editing that much this week, but um, we'll see. I always park in the same spots or the same area each time I come to these stores, especially here, because this exit is where they're gonna bring you out make much sense parking anywhere else so we just parked and I'm about to go right now and text the customer let them know that we have made it send in my first shorthand which is just pretty much saying who I am and what my mission is and that is to shop for you today and if you need anything uh, let me know hopefully <laughs> this is your completed list I can get out of here as fast as possible but um, we're heading into the store <sighs> I swear you don't need any coffee if your mask is drenched in alcohol. <laughs> wow, that stuff will wake you up. Cut right through my nostrils. <laughs> All right, we're out. This is the second time I've come here and there's been no line. So maybe that craze is over, I don't know. So this is a story all about how our Instacart customer needed a few things from town. We started the batch and scroll through the list, 46 items, we can pick that up in a gym. The first thing that we find on our list, Tide Free and Gentle, we can add that real quick. But after a couple of tries, the barcode was no good. Had to force scan to show the items good. We were rocking along, but oh wait, what's this? Be sure to add natural bacon, last time that was missed. I sent her an image to put her at ease. The reply back I got confirmed she was pleased. Two things I forgot but really needed. Eggs and K-Cups, can you add them please? I pulled out the net and did a quick search looking for an image to ID this merch. After getting my praise, I knew I was clear to head to the register and get the heck out of here. Okay, my good people, we are in the car. Um, what was it, like 93? 93 on my uh, return, return on my shop. So that wasn't bad. Uh, let's go ahead and navigate to this person's residence. We are going 10 minutes away. Okay, cool. This might take us closer to another HB where we might be able to get an order. I don't know what Instacart is gonna look like today. As for me, if it's not working in one app, I jump to another one. I have tons of apps to make me some money. Let's just go. Because I've been doing a lot of these Instacart videos, I think I got like, what, 26,000 Instacart videos? I'm kidding. A lot of people have commented and leaving their best tips and practices that they do 
uh, to make their order smoother or even make the transport smoother. Yeah, one guy, he commented that he uses like those plastic storage bins uh, to put it, I guess, in his back seat or maybe even his trunk area to keep the bags from uh, tipping over or, you know, spilling out. Even if he has thermal bags or not, he puts all his groceries in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Once I get my actual uh, tailgate area cleared out, then I'm actually probably gonna look into that. I'm probably gonna do a shopping video because I need to go order a lot of different stuff. So another person also recommended getting a cart that's designed to go upstairs uh, because I've been carrying a lot of water recently and that is no fun no fun at all yeah and another one of my videos I talked about uh, weighing your produce and a lot of people actually wrote that they don't weigh their produce they just put in the general amount and keep it moving and also too, the things that I filmed in the video those are just possible suggestions on what you can do if you run into a pickle I've gotten some comments are like oh my god you're doing that for every single order you like giving the customer the white glove treatment and texting them like they're one of your best friends. No, I'm not doing that for every single customer. I'm videotaping tips, <laughs> you know? Otherwise we can just sit in the car and just talk about random stuff about what we can do in Instacart. I mean, that works too, but I'm just showing new shoppers. Uh, even some people probably be doing it for a while, maybe something you guys might wanna just rethink. I mean, you don't have to go to those extremes. You can just refund it and keep it moving, but those are options. That's why that word exists looking pretty gloomy today let's go ahead and get these groceries to this person's front step quickly but i do love everybody being active in the comments and giving their best practices i mean because uh nobody's a pro but we all have different skill levels and uh like i said i just started about a month or so ago and some change so there's no way i could possibly give you expert advice and so stop sign Turn. shut your mouth there's no way i can give you the bible on instacart nobody can but uh, just do what feels good for you at that time because every situation is going to be different. Every customer is going to be different. The conversation going down there, I welcome it all as long as it's constructive comments. In a quarter of a mile, the destination is on your left. Arrived. Right, my next mission is to find out where I am so I can get to a post office. I got a package that I need to send off. Sold something on eBay. Another side hustle, guys. There's a lot of things that I do that I don't talk about on here. So yeah, I have the gig apps, but uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of other stuff. Um, income all the way around. So I have a little eBay store. It's nothing special right now, but um, I might just put random items up on the uh, on the store. There's many ways to get money. You don't have to be out here driving around town. <laughs> you know, you could eBay. You can Amazon. Um, what else can you do? Social media pages. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot that you can do. So uh, don't just get stuck on one thing. Don't just get stuck on one app. Get your money. <laughs> get your money. Ah, perfect. Parking away from everybody and their problems. <laughs> Supposed to have sent this off Monday. Just want to double check some things. Burr, 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 burr. Looking good. All right, let's go drop this package off. So I'm an idiot. I'm walking up to the the door and everybody turns around like <laughs> Sorry, forgot my mask. <laughs> you think after all this time I'll be used to this by now. But I'm not. I'm just so used to jumping out of my car and going. But yeah, they looked at me like I was a freaking uh walker from the walking dead coming in. <laughs> Another thing too guys, the post office gives you free package boxes you can order right from their website and if they don't use the flat rate label and get the partial collect a lot of wrapping paper like from the dollar tree when it's uh after christmas wrap those bad boys up and you can send them cheaper think about it I swear the post office and uh the dmv longest lines ever in history <laughs> when trying to get something done i'm gonna put this in my pocket so i can send that to the uh customer let them know i got their stuff shipped off so they don't think i'm trying to take their money and run off with the item all right uh i was waiting in line there was a few orders that popped up for instacart um there was a 20 dollar one went just like that so could be the bot could just be an eager shopper who knows so uh, i think what we're gonna do now is just switch oh there's a costco order in here 10 items 11 dollars 10 miles away Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Instacart doesn't have anything in there worth doing right now. There's only three batches in Instacart. I think it's time to power up the work desk. Just like that. As soon as I turned it on, 
Chick-fil-A hit me with an order. So I'm going to go do that. And um, we just got to keep moving, guys. There's other ways to make money. So we're going to go do that and uh, finish out this day. This is why I love multi-apping. The summer, I wasted so much time waiting for orders to come from one app. Get other apps, guys. All right, Chick-fil-A, here we come. I swear. I swear, I swear, Chick-fil-A. Y'all stay popping. Thank God for these drive-up parking lots or parking spaces. And we need to turn on our flashing lights so they know to bring it out here to us. Uber Eats? Yeah, Uber Eats for Tim. Okay. Thank you much. My pleasure. Have a good one. You too. All right, let's be quick. Get this done. Head north towards West Five minutes away. Okay, that was something that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, a gentleman met me right at the door to get his food. Like as soon as I was walking up, he's like, "What?" Open the door. I guess he was hungry. I get it. So we're actually going back to the same Chick Fil A for another uh, for another order. We're looking for a business on this one. I think this is it. High Fort. Yep, found it. It's right here. Four sixty. So. They didn't say what they want me to do, so I'm gonna go knock on the door. Hey. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Jeff dropped off, and as soon as I walked up to the door, another order came in. So it's busy today on Uber, that's for sure. All right, so Jeff delivered. And now we're gonna go to Jersey Mike's. Hello. Hi, dear. Hi, dear. Thanks. sent you simple as that head west toward west slaughter lane and for giving shut again somebody else who came out to get their food so i don't know maybe people just aren't scared anymore so i just asked me to take a picture i'm just gonna take a picture of the house because i actually handed it off to him know why he put no contact delivery in there he wants to see me delivered and head we south on cockney drive toward great britain boulevard we got another order came in so let's roll How interesting. Yeah, Yes. Mark? Yep. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. It's actually waiting outside to give it to me. We didn't even have to go far for that one. Let's start this delivery. Oh, let's Head see. south towards South First Street. 13 minutes away. We're on our way. All right. So that order dropped me off very close to a HEB grocery store. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take an order that I saw in there. It was um, $20. So we're just going to keep jumping. Plus, Uber hasn't sent me anything else. Normally, they send me something just as I'm about to close out the order. All right. Still looks like there's no line, which is great. Going to go in here and get this done. Um, I'm going to try that trick I did a minute ago where I actually gathered up a handful of items and then just scan them all in at once. I think that actually can improve your... Um, item rate so um maybe maybe not but it's something to try let's go well i think it's safe to say i shopped the mess out of that order just now <laughs> 50 items it was like a 68 turnaround compared to what 90 when i did my other order so um where's your score at guys let me know let me know i'm on my way to drop this off for the customer we'll keep moving right now it is 2.48, let's just say it's 3 o'clock. A young electrical engineer disappeared Friday. Well, okay. It probably just... So I haven't complained about apartments in a long time, but look at this. Behind me is building 3. As you can see, we got building 4. I'm looking for building 5. So this is building 4. Unless it's just this emptiness. But then you get to building 6. I mean, I, maybe this is building 5? If so, like who taught these people how to count? <laughs> what 
architectures are laying out these apartment complexes. And this is building seven. What in Jiminy Cricket is going on around here? Back around the complex, building five is next to building two. And after five to the left over there is building 10. I got questions, I got questions, and I need some answers. Holy smoke, let's figure this out. Mm, mm, mm. That's the only order right now that's in Instacart. 41 items for $11. Like, that's just, that's monkey madness. No way, at least 20. At least 20. But $11? Wow. Now it's kind of like just scraping scraps. Definitely nothing like it used to be. So uh, you guys already know what we're gonna do. Switch focus, pop open this Uber, and we're gonna keep it moving. Let's go. All right guys, just real quick to catch you up. All those Uber runs I did earlier today, let's see how many were they? They were four trips, brought me to $23. Oops. We are finna go get something right now. Three dollars. Okay, eight minutes there. Eight minutes, drop it off. But before we go, I wanted to show you Instacart. And with Instacart, it's Cinco de Mayo, and it's Taco Tuesday. It's crazy. So for Instacart, we worked two batches so far, and this one here, thirty-one dollars. Yeah, I knew. So they took their chip up. I remember this order was like in the teens. So they took their chip up. To 1857 because I did such a great job and this one here that's pending is when I just dropped off is $20 so back to what I was saying about that white glove treatment that everybody that I had a few comments saying you're doing too much I'm only showing that for the video not every order I'm doing that as you guys saw like the other orders I'm burning through them with minimum contact to the customers the funny thing is the people who need to hear this don't even watch the reaction part of the videos you know what I'm saying but it's out there in space so if they ever do see it they know so let's go get this uber order and let's keep it moving and yeah I would love to go harder on instacart and have you know $300 days $1400 payout weeks but we got to look at the circumstance as you guys saw how am I supposed to go hard when I got 40 items I got to pick up for $11 you know what I'm saying and that's the only item sitting in instacart for everybody else too uh, you know you see our videos and you see a lot of people making a crazy amount of money like it's out there if it's in your region yeah like get fast burn through those orders you know please the customer some of them $11 orders might actually turn into 20 30 dollars depending on how they increase your tip but um it's all about circumstances so don't look at my video especially like my uber eats videos or even my instacart videos joined together as a failure if you're not hitting those numbers like look at your market look at what you're really working with and then decide if you are actually being successful. And I'm pretty sure you guys are. So uh, with that said, let's keep driving. Ah, it's so funny how I used to fly through town <laughs> to pick up orders. I was picking them up and dropping them off like I was in a freaking Fast and the Furious movie. But now I'm just going, hmm, I'll pick them up when I, when I reach that destination. I'm not going to kill myself. Money's there. The money will be there. But we just pulled up. We're going to pick up some food for Robert. I was just talking about Taco Tuesday. And, um, well, he's not ordering tacos, but he is ordering something from a Mexican restaurant. Let's go inside. I bet they have some good menudo here. Yes. All right, order's not ready, so you guys know what. Got to mark it. And we wait. Hey, good people, we're back in the car. I'm still trying to figure out this whole restaurant dining opening thing. Like, they want you to wear a mask to come in there, but you can't, you know, eat through your mask. You're getting them taking it off anyway. So, like, what's the point? You got, I don't know if you guys saw in there, those guys were sitting pretty much shoulder to shoulder. There wasn't no social distancing going on. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I find it just very interesting. The thought patterns of how all this is supposed to, uh, Makes sense. Let's just move. New message from Robert C. Thank you. That will keep repeating. What is up, Uber? Why do y'all have people triple texting us now? New message from Robert C. <laughs> Thank you. Leave me alone. <laughs> you physically have to go in the app and touch it and like open it. Otherwise, it'll keep texting you. What in the world are y'all transporting? I glanced around. The confessional stood Holy against the wall, shrouded in heavy what is shadows. That? I'm scared to be underneath. That's final destination waiting to happen. Okay, enough of this. 
Yes. <laughs> okay, Robert. You want See, look, it's only one. And they sent me like what, 26 messages? Yeah, outrageous. Staring outrageous. Mm, it's getting about that time. I'm getting hungry. All I had was a banana today, so I need some food. Don't you hate when people freaking slow down? Like, put a blinker on. If you're gonna turn, let somebody freaking know. Freaking park the car in the middle of the street. Idiots. God. And no, I don't have road rage. I just have a low tolerance for people who don't know how to drive. Like, get out of that car if you don't know what you're doing in it. You, I think we're reaching our destination. The destination is on your left. Oh, okay. How do we get in here? Guys, honestly, I don't have time to think. I just got another order. It looks like we're gonna go. This is a seven dollar order. We're going to Jason Don's Bar. Make a right turn on which airline? It's been a while. Uh, going to Don's Barbecue to pick up a seven dollar order. Um, I make whoa. a right turn on which airline? Vultures. You guys would think I'm like a bird enthusiast, but I'm always stopping for like blue jays. Those things are huge. Can you see them? Yeah. Yeah, that video doesn't do those things justice. Those things are massive. Massive, massive, massive. Let's keep moving. They actually built that window there to accommodate the situations going on. They didn't always have that there. Let's go, let's go. Then you gotta park. I've been having so much fun here lately. Yeah, it's Just good. Walking down the street over here watching people fighting. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love the shit. Hey, I used to do it when I was a kid. Hell, I'm 73 years old. Look at that. You get to watch them do it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, but then yeah, if they come run and they do those. Oh, yeah. You don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that. No, I ain't doing that. Yeah, you don't want that. No, I ain't doing 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 that. No, Take care of yourself. Yeah. Oh, oh, hell yeah. My friend, my friend, as much as I would like to sit there and reminisce about the days of old with you when you used to rough up and fist to cuff those guys back in the day, I, I, I don't have the time. I gotta go make money. I gotta go. So let's go uh, deliver to Gio. Delivery. Oh, Gio! Gio! <laughs> wow. They really sneak attacked me on that one. Like, to the fullest. Where am I going, to California? Again, I, that's why I try not to accept an order before I drop off another order because for whatever reason, I don't see the final destination until I complete the other one and then I'm in the middle of this one, you know? Uh, well, it happens, it, it happens, whatever. At least the streets are clear and I can get here a lot faster than I would be able to because what time is it? It's 3.35 and Austin was starting to get three o'clock traffic so um, it is what it is. Look at the UT Longhorns symbol on that on that building right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pretty cool. Keep trying to not eat out so much, but sometimes I just can't help it. Don't worry, we feel your pain. Especially when you can use the Get Upside app to save on more than just gas. Find participating restaurants in your area, claim your offer, scan in your receipt, and cash in big. Why not earn extra money as well as pounds? Try Get Upside today. All right, my good people, it is lunchtime. Right now it is 4.17. Um, I really gotta start bringing my fruit with me again, but sometimes you just need some carbs. So I'm chill here for a second. Uh, let's just take a look. Instacart, in case you guys are wondering. But I drove from that location where I was in Westlake Hills pretty much all the way back south. I had no hits on Uber, so Uber kind of tapered off a little bit. Instacart, zero batches. I don't know if you guys can see it. Zero batches. Oh, one just popped up. This is... Oh, snap. Shoot, somebody got it already. It was a $20 order, if you guys can see it. $20 order Sam's Club and all you need to do is pick up was uh, pick up four items god dang it and it really wasn't that far to drive either I'm gonna screenshot this so maybe I remember to add it to the uh, the video later now that's an order $20 four items anyway probably just meant for me to uh, take a break anyway sometimes you just need to do that oh my god there's a huge ass fly crawling on my windshield we have horse flies down here. They're huge, like 
flies. I wish I could have got it before it flew away. So they call them horse flies. Like the thing was literally that big. It was a huge fly. Anyway, I'm just done with my lunch. It is 4.33. I might chill out here a little bit longer. You know, some guys, sometimes guys, I go like stupid hard. Like I just go, 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 go. I don't even like eat, but some days I want to just chill. And like that's today, I'm actually just kind of chilling. What money comes is what money <laughs> is what money comes, you know? Next week I might do Instacart all next week and see how it goes, but like, like I'm saying, like Instacart just don't have anything for me to do. So I can't go hard on an app that has no, like there's still no batches. Absolute no batches, so it is what it is. The bots are crazy. Uh, speaking of bots, I'm actually was sitting here just uh, chatting with somebody, uh, DOD, about a certain project in the works. I keep hinting at if by chance we get this going, it should be something pretty amazing. I want to make it very, very special for all the viewers of the Riot Share community, so I'm, I'm really working on this and um if it happens guys i hope it like blows your minds if it doesn't happen you know oh well there's always other things we can do to uh, all link up but um i think this would be crazy okay so it is now 509 the zones have reset for whatever uber is going to do honestly even uber has kind of um I won't say it died down because Uber's still busy. Like you can still get orders. We normally have higher payers, higher paying zones than this. So uh, something's in the water. Regardless, there's still money I'm sure we can collect. And let's go ahead and see how much money we can make for today. I'm going live. It's 514, Fireball Subs just came in with a $3 order. Uh, it's gonna be about a nine minutes to complete this whole thing is what they say. So let's go ahead and get this done. I'm probably gonna be out here to nine o'clock. So we got four hours to see how much money we can make. If Instacart brings something in that's actually worth doing and makes sense, then I'll jump on it. If not, you guys will probably just see my next video when we're back in the apartment. Cause a lot of these um, Uber restaurants, you guys have seen a thousand times before. <laughs> gonna film, but Fireball has these things set up now if you guys can even see it. They have you call and they bring it out here to you. So let's see if this applies to us. For Lance under Uber. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> thank yourself. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I guess that does work for us. We get to uh, just call it in. Whatever, whatever. That grass was strong. It was loud. <laughs> it was loud as they say. It was loud, that's all I'm gonna say. You know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we got another uh, order from uh, Little Dotties. Ah, the good old please don't place. <laughs> Let's move. Okay, so this is what I wanted to videotape because I'm actually not taking this order. I just went to Bomb Tacos and uh, it's a crazy, crazy line. Actually, accept the order. It was a double order, paying nine dollars, and I was about to take a little. It's a small little food truck, and they had one little cook in there sweating over the stove, poor thing, trying to get all the orders. And there was at least like fifteen delivery people. That's it. I don't even know how long that order, how long that was going to be. So I was like, nope, double. I got to cancel both these because that's just that's just not feasible. So I canceled them, and as, as I'm driving off, they sent the orders back to me. I declined them again. And it's not the same orders back to me. I'm only saying this because in one of my videos when I say I don't hit the decline button and someone wrote, oh, here's the reason why you should because they won't send you the same orders. Well, I don't know if it's just a glitch in the matrix, but they tried to send me the same orders again. To each its own, but uh, yeah, I, that line was crazy. Then it was gonna take me at least 20 minutes outside my zone because I finally got to see where it was gonna go because Every time I get an order where I'm in the middle of dropping something off, they'll send something to me. And it doesn't show me the full path. It just tells you the amount. But now I saw where I was gonna go and I'm happy now that I didn't take that order because that would not have been worth the trip or the wait. Unless the customer is gonna tip me at least $20 because mercy, mercy, mercy. But look at the map. The map is hot fire. See this zone over here, by this time of day, it's normally 1.9. This probably would be a 1.4, maybe 1.6. This is normally where I work. Everything else, really, really hot zones, but the multipliers, they are starting to drop. 
I think everything is starting to level off again, if you ask me. So what am I doing now? I'm actually finna go and get some gas. Actually, something just popped up for high tide. Let's see, high tide, Riverside. I think I'll take that one. It's $9. Look at this parking lot. Yeah, all those cars for that one food truck. Would you have waited? Your call. Ooh, just stopping in to do a wellness check. As you guys can see, it is nighttime. Um, it actually kind of looks daytime with the way this camera's filming it. Anyway, it is, let's see, what time is it? I think this is probably one of my last orders. If I can pull the time up, it is 8.30. So this is what Joey ordered. Just some drinks. Thirsty, 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 thirsty. What's up, people? We are back at the apartment. It's been a long, long day, but it actually was kind of a fun day. It had its problems, but actually it wasn't as bad as some of my other videos go, especially ones that are strictly based around Uber Eats. Um, there is an app that a subscriber recommended that I use, and I've been meaning to mention it in the videos, but I keep forgetting. It's called Beans, and it would have come in really handy earlier when I was in that complex and the numbers were all scrambled up. So it's called Beans. Um, I'll put some information on the screen here so you guys can actually know what app to look for but from what she says it's supposed to help you target the apartment complex is like right on the spot as far as like the buildings go so you can at least find the buildings and then you can do whatever you need to do to find the door number download it i just need to go ahead and sign in make myself an account and start using it because i noticed that instacart i deliver to a lot of uh residential homes but uber you know you're gonna be doing a lot of uh, complexes so if instacart is drying up as it seems to be drying up at least in my area now i'm gonna need to jump on my other apps and those other apps are probably gonna come with some apartment complexes so as far as other apps go let's go ahead jump in here on the phone and see what today brings us uh right now it is 9 16 i actually cut it off at I think it was like 8.45 is my la the last drop off order that I did. So not a bad day. So as you guys know, we're gonna go ahead and try to do a screen capture on this because it just seems to uh, look a little bit better as what I mentioned before, it was a, a big old mess. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get this started. So we're on the screen. Let's go ahead and start today with Instacart since we only had a few orders out of Instacart. And let's load Instacart up here. So on Instacart, we did, let's see. No batches, we're gonna go down here to earnings. So for the week, it looks like we're 8502 for Instacart. Bad times compared to like, if you look at to where we were before, that $800 day just really sticks, that $800 week just really sticks out, doesn't it? Anyway, like I said, it's the fifth Cinco de Mayo. So in Instacart, it looks like we made about $52.09. We only did two orders today. Uh, let's see, this one here was the last order we did. There was a slight tip adjustment, but this one here was the big kicker. I think this person so much, I've actually delivered to this person. Uh, it's my second time delivering to them. They recognize my name and they said, you always do such a great job. And I think that's probably why they increased my tip. So it went up from $9 to $18 and that was much needed. So after coming out of Instacart, we're going next to our app Uber Eats on my work desk. And Uber Eats brings us with a total of 129.72. So wapa! Let's go look at the breakdown of Uber Eats. So we did 14 trips today. I think back in the day, I normally did like what, 18 trips? For the week, obviously we're gonna have more on Uber Eats because that's where we've been putting most of our time. Uh, let's see, 129. So it said we were online for six hours with Uber Eats. Uh, Instacart says we're online for two, so almost a full eight hour day. Remember, I did take an hour lunch break, so, uh, not even that. So as far as tips go, it looks like we got some spotty tips. Not everybody put a tip in, which is surprising. But anyway, um, the ones we got look very nice and we have two more people who were waiting to put tips in and we'll see how that goes. So that is where we are today as far as our multi app. Here we are on the screen for today as well as for the week. So now it looks like the multi app game is really gonna come in handy because it feels like we're back to where we started before this whole uh, outbreak explosion happened. I just got an email from Deliver That from one of my old videos. You guys know I did a ride along, well, kind of a investigational uh, ride along with Deliver That. And they're starting to do on-demand services as of Thursday. Uh, it goes live and I can go in there and you have an hour and a half lead time to pick up the food that this person ordered, which is which is pretty great because if you, if you can pick up an on-demand order and you have an hour to finish it, you can probably knock out a few more um, like Instacart orders or something in between. You, you can figure out how to make it work is what I'm trying to say. Cause that's a pretty big lead time to pick up an order. 
Um, and they also said they might have some grocery store orders to do. So who knows? I might be doing some videos on that just to kind of test the waters because uh, as plentiful as Instacart was when it was plentiful, it doesn't appear to be so plentiful now. What I might do just to be fair about it, I might try to get up at like seven and take some orders. Cause that $800 day, that didn't come easy. That, that was a lot of me waking up like at seven, getting out of here at like eight, if not earlier. And I was working pretty much all day. And I say working all day is because I mostly was in the grocery store, but it was, it was a lot fewer trips, but it was a higher payout. So we'll see. Instacart's not over for me, but I just have to go where the money is. And right now there was no money in Instacart today. So we went back on into Uber Eats. Favor? Oh, favor, 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 favor. <laughs> see, maybe one day I'll just force myself to do a week's worth of favor. Um, Hades or high water, We'll add some more favors into uh, the mix. I, I just don't know, I just don't know. But anyway guys, that is the end of this video. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. If you guys made it this far, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button and right next to it is a notification bell that you need to ding and knock it out. So when I make some new videos, you'll be the first one to know and you can come watch it. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below on anything you guys might wanna see or questions you might have that I can answer in future videos. Until the next ride guys, have a good day, peace.